I'm not a defender myself, so when I'm defending against him, it's, it's definitely not easy for me. Rooney, I know it's not a classic one, but Rooney Van Persie. In that time, how good of a team they were, and of course them, them two in the side together. Um, you know, every week they were, they were doing something special. You know, when I was young, it's a team that I used to watch a lot, so I'll go with them. Uh, funniest moment. Do you know, I seen a clip the other day, not not from when I was playing, but just a clip that I always see going around on Twitter is um, a Bonhaw goes over the barrier. And the fan just doesn't do anything, just gets out his camera, takes a little snippet and just sits there. I mean, if, if you're a Bonnoy, you're fuming, but just watch it. <laughs> seeing that clip, it's just brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, having obviously not involved, but seeing that, it's, it's great. Um, I think Ronaldo sort of is the, the model to look at, just you know, for his dedication and sort of the... The role model he is within football. You know, everyone aspires to to get to that level and sort of recreate some of the things that he's done. So for me, um, yeah, I think Ronaldo. I've got to say Kane. I think based on last year, I think you know, you know the the stats he was putting up. I think it'd definitely be in mine anyway. I think just purely based on the stats that he put up last year, um, he's probably a banker. Got to say myself, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was a weird one because it was obviously when I was at Barnsley. That's where the clips come from. But at the time, nothing, nothing really came of it. It was sort of a bit further down the line. I don't know where it come from. The video just came up, and it's just stuck ever since. Do you know what I really like? I, I follow uh, Ian Poulter on Instagram, and I love seeing sort of like the behind the scenes of what always of what's going on in the golf. I'm not a great golf myself, but I always have a little watch. So um, to sort of see. The behind the scenes and what's always going on, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Has Vard's got one? Yeah, did it? Is his? Uh, I can't even remember. If he has, if he has, I haven't seen it, so I shouldn't say that. But then I'd say Vard's. If anyone's going to have one, it's going to be him, isn't it? Oh. Uh, it's a tough one, that. I mean, Kane would be the easy one to say, wouldn't he? Because of, uh, of last year. But again, so I'd say probably De Bruyne. He, he can do everything, really. When you play, come up against him and you, you're in that situation, you realise what a good player he is. I'm not a defender myself, so when I'm defending against him, it's, it's definitely not easy for me. I think in our team at the minute, um, I'm looking forward to seeing Patson because I think obviously I played with with Rai a few times already, um, and Boober's already played quite a few games, and I think we've seen little cameos of, of what Patson can bring to the team. So it's going to be really exciting to see that in the Premier League this year. You know how. How quick and strong he is, and as an attacker, you know you always love watching, watching attackers and what they can bring to the team. So um, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we just want to keep building on on what we've already done in previous years. You know, each year we're looking to improve. So um, of course, last year we had the, the glory of the FA Cup, but we missed out on the on the top four. But you know, finish as high on the table as we can and and do well in the cups will be you know our, our main aims, I think.